it's not that noticeable, but they notice it because they can, they've got such such a feel for the uh, the way the way that the trowels roll across there. Mm -hmm. So what are they doing? This just doesn't damage it when they sit on those? No, it's, it's so cured that they can sit on those, float it out like this, and then with a steel trowel float, then they go back and then they, <laughs> and then they uh, broom it. So we have something for texture. If, it's, if it's, they're doing this on this part, they leave it that way and it's all steel finished. But out here we have to put a, drag a broom across it real fine horsehair, and then that creates just a little bit of traction. It opens the pores so that you don't slip and hydroplane when you're outside. Hmm. It's like snowshoes. Take some real back muscles to do that and some shoulders and forearm, uh, triceps. I think I could last on there about 30, 40 minutes. <laughs> Me much less. Yeah, so they, they do a lot of this straightening just by the feel. They can feel a hump and then you'll see them work it like that. And that's creating the, getting rid of the, of the low spot. Mm. You can't, it's a low spot that you won't be able to see unless there was water on the slab. Or if you were walking on it barefoot. Yeah, you couldn't even feel it then. Oh really? Uh-uh, it's, it's not that noticeable, but they notice it because they can, they've got such, such a feel for the, uh, the, way, the way that the trowels roll across there, mm -hmm. the way they float, they can feel if something's off. You see him moving it? Mm -hmm. And he's bringing that butter, we call it the butter of the concrete. It's the, actually the cement, and, it's, and it's, he's bringing it to the top there. See right there, he's, he's bringing it all up to the surface and making it real smooth. And that gives you enough to broom that, that fine, fine material in there. So that's electrical and then gas, yeah. electrical for different lights, lighting we're going to have. Mm -hmm. That's going to be where the hot tub is going to be right there. Mm -hmm. This is the fire mm -hmm. pit, This right? is going to be so pretty with the fire pit on there. Mm -hmm. This is going to be really something to show. So this is a great little drop down for they store all their trash cans here and have mm -hmm. not have to walk out onto the mud. So this is a great example of what making a house into your forever home mm -hmm. and truly designing it for what you need. All of Every, these details. All these little details make, a, make it a lot more fun living at your house. Yep. And easier to do, to work with. I know mm -hmm. we did a sidewalk on ours back when we, right after we moved in. Yeah. And all these years I've had a sidewalk to bring my, my trash, trash cans. cans then. And then on the corner of the lot, I wanted, to, I wanted to stop walking through the yard to get to the backyard. Those things make such a big difference. And on the front, you're going to see we've done driveway extensions to make it easier to get on, to, uh, get on and off the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Let's go look at that right now. Okay, so this is where we extended it. We did this with the first pour, which was the, the foundation of the room addition. And now we added the other section, as you see over there, when we're doing the patios. Why do we have to do two pours? It was just easier to control. Because you have to be doing the temperature and everything. Yeah, and we want right we want to reduce the amount of of people on the job, especially with the construction sites so proliferating all over. You can get a group of guys that can handle a smaller pour, but it's getting harder and harder to get enough people to handle the whole pour. If you did all this at one time, it's a much bigger job. And we said let's let's pace it out yeah, to where not a big it's deal. it's the best results for the concrete. Maybe not the best results for timing, but it was only it was only three days delay, so that that's not much to be able Sounds to control reasonable. it. Yeah, and, and we don't want just anybody showing up to finish our concrete. We want to get the guys we want to do it. Mm -hmm. So it's better to have a smaller crew that you can handle it. And that's one of the beautiful things about remodeling is we can we can control things better because of its relative size. Yeah. And we will show you all exactly. The, the fun part that we love so much is seeing the structure go up. I know you'll love seeing it too. <laughs>